My name is Ginny Berenberg. Uh, I'm originally from Dallas, Texas. Hey, my name is Casey. Uh, I'm from the beautiful state of California. Hi, my name is Heather McNulty, and I'm from Rochester, New York. Hi, I'm Brett. Uh, Brett Sneed. I grew up my with my mom taking care of me um, and my two sisters most of my life. And she said, well, he's gone to be in heaven. And that's the day I found out my dad had died in a car accident. When I was two and a half, I was adopted from uh, an abusive household. When my younger brother was born, my mom decided that it wouldn't be best for my brother and I to be raised uh, around our dad. And growing up in this environment was very difficult for me. Uh, it really felt like there was this void in my heart. There was this dad-shaped hole in my heart. In that moment, my entire world shattered. Um, if there was one thing in life I was sure about, it was that my dad would live for a long time. My dad was in my life until about seven, um, and then my mom and dad split up. And uh, <clears throat> living, living that time was, was really difficult for me. Uh, it was a great household situation until I was 17. And my dad, well, my father decided that he was gonna, you know, screw our lives up. Since then, I've been in a household without a dad, and it's been really hard. So I turned to things like like friends. I turned to things like trying to be popular, or trying to fit in, or trying to get people to like me. And eating, eating was one of those things that, that I turned to in my sorrow. Drugs and parties and, um, yeah, just real independence, just a real shying away from people and wanting to be proud and strong and not need help. I, I've had multiple relationships that I was seeking this love unworthiness I felt I didn't feel loved. I turned to pornography and guys and well not sex but almost sex and cutting and stuff like that and depression. There was this dad shaped hole in my heart that I tried to fill with things that, that didn't fit. I, mean, I just needed relief um, and I I turned to everything else. All I could sit there and wonder is why my dad wasn't watching me um, play baseball, sing in choir. Because I thought my life wasn't worth it and I thought I was unworthy of love. You know, it was the, the senior high um, youth group pastor and um, he really uh, opened up what I had never really seen before and that was the father heart um, of God. I went to my uncle my uncle David, David Jones, he was a man in my life um, that was such an important and incredible figure. His name was Pastor Brent. Um, he had three kids of his own and he was a very big part of helping me get out of depression and stop cutting and pornography and all the other stuff that I was into. Having solid men, older men that were in the church that were on staff uh, within the ministry that desired to invest in he just always poured life into me, and he always pointed out the beautiful things in me, and the wonderful things. And how a man is supposed to live his life, how a man is supposed to be you know, feeling, how, how a man is, is loved. But I really do believe that without those people, like I would, not, I would not be where I'm at today. I would not be someone who has a desire for ministry. And just having that uh, figure in my life, you know, the, because my dad wasn't there, um, just to encourage me. And, and help me through the times of, of my follies and, uh, and my faults and, and my falls and my failures and, and the times of praise. That's the same thing that these men did in my life was to push me to the Lord saying, yes, we can fill this gap to a point, but the ultimate person that's gonna fill this dash of hole in your heart and not leave a single inch of white space, not leave a single inch of, of light around the piece is gonna be the Lord.